first um sad news actually to get out of the way um thoughts and feelings go out to this 20 21 year old courtesy of ra who unfortunately passed away over the weekend at london club the cause um no one wants to hear news like this especially when it comes you know via the um via the hands of taking drugs you know what i mean it's something that this person did voluntarily and unfortunately um due to you know whatever circumstances that were at play um they were un unfortunate enough to pass away at a club event which is again nothing that anyone wants to see or report or witness in any kind of shape or form so the report says as follows the police were called at 3 a.m on saturday after a number of attendees became unwell a number of attendees absolutely shocking to hear in it right um one attendee and the club the cause and died and two others are hospitalized last saturday morning the bbc reports that the cause of the 22 year old death is, is currently unexplained although a drug overdose is suspected by the police he and two other friends were hospitalized after police arrived at the Tottenham, Tottenham location, sorry, at three or seven a.m., the two other men are in stable conditions. Superintendent Simon Crick has urged anyone who bought drugs in and around nightclubs to dispose of these substances as soon as possible. The news follows reports from Bristol Council warning of dangerously strong pills in circulation, leading to the death of one young person and hospitalization of several others. Visit the loop to learn more about harm reduction, what to do in drug related emergencies, and strategies to stay safe. Sites like Drug and Me and Psycho Nor Wiki provide information on the extensive range of substances, while Roll Safe and Trip Safe offer education specific to mdma psychedelics and respective oh respectively sorry um and obviously they've got more info they're kind of detailing exactly what went on and um you know the cause has been alleged that these blue tesla pills that have been you know around the scene at the moment so first things first obviously you know thoughts and feelings go out to the family um of this 21 year old like no one wants to hear of their family member um close friend passing in such tragic circumstances so that goes out to them hopefully his friends um you know wish them a speedy recovery but the really challenging and tough thing about this is that in the uk for the most part our sort of like harm reduction um drug education programs whatever they may be are pretty much horrendous right especially when you come to come to the government there's not a lot of things in play at the moment that make it easy for certain clubs or sites to have um the ability to let people anonymously test their drugs or sometimes even not anonymously right to ensure that they're all safe and with that comes a lot of charlatans and if there isn't i'd say from my little experience going out and you know going around places in europe i'd say the most scummiest probably drug dealers have to exist here in the uk in terms of the amounts that they give you which are always underweight that's in the quality of the drugs that you get given and generally the quality of service don't get me wrong you know you're not shopping on amazon so you don't expect to get flipping you know top-notch service and speedy delivery but in terms of an overall experience there's nothing quite like um the horrors of having to try and get drugs anywhere here in the uk especially in london there's so much competition that everyone ends up undercutting each other and undercutting each other generally means that the punt is in up getting poor quality product and to be completely honest i was surprised that it did happen sooner i would expected you know spending such a prolonged period of time at home and not being able to go to clubs and then the club suddenly reopening all at once would kind of um lead to loads of unfortunate deaths deaths especially in the opening weekend but luckily touch wood that didn't happen but then to have this come out of nowhere because of a bad batch of pills um is really heartbreaking because like i said like before no one really wins in this sort of situation right um it's a bad look obviously for the cause that goes without saying but again it's not really their fault because in the scene if they become one of the places that's really strict in terms of how they search people and having a zero tolerance policy on people taking drugs and more often than not that's going to lead to the definite overall kind of killing of their reputation they'll end up kind of being the club that no one really wants to go visit anymore so they kind of you know are caught in a weird place where if they if they're a bit too heavy-handed people are going to generally run away from the club and if they if, if they kind of go with the kind of like if we don't see it we're not report it kind of strategy then it sometimes leads to the situation and i'm not saying that this is what happened but you know i'm just kind of running through it and then of course for the kids um who um, who kind of luckily had survived they're probably going to get survivors guilt you know having one of their close friends pass away from something that they took themselves um it's not going to be a good feeling waking up and kind of learning that news 
And then, of course, you know, friends and family associated with it are going to suffer. And I'd say maybe the scene overall, because generally when stuff like this happens, there's usually a change in something approaching laws and something maybe in license when it comes to the courts. Something's going to eventually happen in, in a legal way that's going to negatively affect people. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about the scene in general, like it matters in this situation. Who gives a crap? But I'm just saying of the kind of... Um, the domino effect of one person, one dealer deciding to kind of, you know, make a crappy quality product in order to undercut his rival dealers in order to make sure that he's selling that then gets picked up by kids that probably don't have that much money or just want to get higher for the cheapest amount of price possible. And then when the situation also, which made me think about harm reduction, for the most part, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, like drug testing kits aren't that expensive. They're fairly inexpensive, right? I'm going to say they're probably under 50 pounds, sometimes even under 20 pounds, right? But for whatever reason, people tend not to get them. So you don't have, you know, one at home. People don't generally have scales. They don't generally have like little things that you could do to make your kind of drug taking experience a bit better a bit more of a safer experience sorry and that kind of equate it similar to like travel insurance for whatever reason travel insurance is fairly inexpensive for what it is in order to kind of give you some protection if you go abroad and you end up being unwell or you get yourself in an accident but people don't tend to get it and then when you end up getting an every severe accident you wish you did get it because you know spending the extra 20 50 100 euros on travel insurance is going to protect you you know all the way through if anything crazy does happen in the same way harm reduction or drug testing kits will do the same thing just so you can know exactly what you're ingesting in your body and like i said like i'm not sure what it is in other places around england but i will definitely say hands down from my experience of dealing with dealers in london we definitely have some of the most sketchy inconsistent terrible dealers when it comes to providing people with good quality drugs they just don't do it it's just not something that's ever emphasized i don't know why it is maybe it's a kind of consequence of the country we live in and the draconian drug laws we have in general that probably lead people to kind of trying to get the most out of very little because they can't get a lot over the border or you know whatever maybe or on our shores who knows what the situation is but i just wish we were in a place where we could just have adult conversations about drug taking i think i was talking to my friend the other day about it and i think i kind of equate it similar to how we have these really weird um hang-ups about discussing salary in the uk in general people don't really like talking about how much money they make um you know in, in whatever industry they work at in whatever role they're in and generally what ends up happening is that that ends up leading in my experience as well to most workplaces i've been in there's been a huge discrepancy in terms of the um salaries that people have been on unless they have like a tier some places are quite sensible where they have like a sort of like a tier um you know way of kind of paying everybody which is quite open and transparent so if you've got a certain number of experience or at this level you're generally going to get paid within this kind of band right all that kind of idea all that kind of stuff but for the most part i've been in places where two people work in similar kind of jobs and there's like a five grand difference between their salaries which is a lot of money even a hundred pound difference is still you know principle you have to kind of get that correct and generally that tends to happen because people don't have conversations open honest conversations about where they've come from what they were on previously what they're looking to get blah 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 and that leads to then employers taking the piss out of that and kind of using that against the employees in general and kind of playing people off each other and all that sort of stuff and because you know people are just gracious to have jobs in general because maybe the job market in london is difficult i don't really know it leads to this weird place we're in and i think the same thing happens with drugs because we've got such a weird culture around drugs in the uk even though the majority of your friends and people that you know probably do take drugs no one really talks about it too openly no one wants to i don't know maybe you don't look like a crackhead or whatnot but there should be a far better way of kind of talking about these kind of things and again harm reduction is super super important in terms of getting us back to some level of safety because sometimes i think to myself like you know as much as stuff is very draconian here in the uk in terms of how we deal with drugs there is this lack of care and attention to detail when it comes to taking your drugs and going out and getting fucked up in general when you go on a night out in london i think most uk people when they move abroad especially to mediterranean countries or places in eastern europe central europe they get a bit of a culture shock in terms of how to pace themselves i know i did the first few times i went abroad to go in club and you realize that you know the con the pace that you're kind of running at in the uk where you're just having to you know pre your pre-sessioning before you go out then you're hitting somewhere else and you're going to another place and you're 
like kind of pushing it to the red line as much as possible generally doesn't vibe with the kind of all day out kind of culture that they have in other parts of Europe and maybe that is what leads to them having a better relationship with drugs and they don't really have these issues because generally people tend to go out for longer periods of time they tend to spread out their drinking and their drug taking um, you know activities you know across that long period of time which then leads to less situations like this because you're not trying to cram it all in because I'd imagine by 3 a.m. In, at the cause it's probably going to stay open what maximum a couple of more hours if not maybe one more hour at 4 a.m. it might be closing so they don't really have much time to get you know whatever they need to get inside their body to feel however they want to feel and you still don't know what time they got there did they arrive there at 11 did they arrive there at 12 were they already like you know a 50 quid session in Weatherspoon's already liquored up and by the time they got there they're already in a worse for wear place all these things play into it so maybe that's part and parcel or the reason why we're in a situation we're in now but regardless of what the reasons are it's really sad to see again you don't want to see somebody that young passing away you know in these kind of circumstances especially given everything that's happened over the last few years right um also in the last couple of years especially with covid and lockdown you'd imagine you know the elation you must feel as friends going out for a good a good session on the weekend then for it to end like this is just heartbreaking so again for some prayers to everybody involved um again you know send your best wishes and feelings to the guys over at the cause because i'm sure it's not benefit it's not going to be a nice time for them either um they're going to be caught in a weird position i think this is even a uh, instagram post for them that says the following it says um this weekend's events have been cancelled we are currently dealing with a medical incident outside of our control and assisting the police with all investigations we offer our condolences and sympathy to the family and friends of those involved and that's absolutely devastated stay safe look after your friends and those around you so for sure you know there's definitely going to be consequences felt for the cause even if it's not legal or whatever or police you know consequences it's definitely going to be like seeing consequences we saw what happened to the fabric when they had back-to-back -back issues of people passing away and getting really sick from bad quality pills again not their fault stuff that's come outside externally is coming to their clubs and they haven't less been able to deal with it in a good way or you know they couldn't deal with it in a good way regardless it eventually led to the reputation of that club kind of going down the gutter and you know only recently they've kind of slowly but surely picked themselves up it took a really long time and again they've had government funding they've had all these support that's allowed them to kind of weather a lot of those storms a lot of outpouring of support from the scene in general so you'd really kind of hope the same happens to the cause but you never know what may happen and stuff you know it's all we're going to leave that all up to the gods in general but yeah force and feelings go out to everybody associated man what a terrible terrible loss of life